I'm back to practicing 3D and today I'm going to show you some basic pattern editing tools in Cloth 3D and how to make a simple knit skirt. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I am a digital fashion specialist teaching digital fashion design and communication through my company, 383 Design Studio, as well as the Fashion Institute of Technology and Jefferson University. I talk about digital fashion software and design communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So I've been playing with both Browseware and Clo and getting to know how each one works and finding what I like and why I use one versus the other for different projects. One of the things I do like about Clo is that having the figure in the 2D window gives you a great guide to designing and creating your patterns to scale. So if you're drafting a pattern by eye and not measurements, which designers do all the time just to get their ideas out, it makes it really easy to see proportion. And as you draw in the 2D window, you can see that same proportion on the avatar. So I'm just going to do a basic knit skirt and I'm creating a knit skirt because I'm not going to add any darts. I'm just going to shape this using the pattern editing tools. Start with the polygon tool and choose the rectangle. Using the figure in the 2D window as a guide, draw a rectangle that starts at the waist, is as wide as the hips, and as long as the length of your skirt. I'm making my skirt knee length. Then, use the Edit Pattern tool to decrease the top of the rectangle so it fits closer to the waist. Next, add a point on the side seam using Add Point Split Line, and I'll usually add this point to the fullest part of the hip. Now use edit pattern to move the point so the skirt covers the hip. Now right now the pattern is very angular so I want to give it a little curve. So choose edit curvature, click the upper part of the side seam and pull the line to curve it and change the shape. And this is where your illustrator training really comes in handy. If you're not happy with the curve and want to refine it even more, switch back to edit pattern, tap the line and use the handles to refine it even more. I also want to add a little curve to the waist and drop it a bit because it's a little high. So first I'll select the center front point with edit pattern and tap the arrow keys to make it lower. Do the same with the side seam if you feel that needs some adjusting as well. And then use the curvature and edit pattern tools as needed to give the waist some curve. I don't want a seam at center front, so I'm going to unfold the pattern. Use the edit pattern tool, select the center front seam, right mouse click and choose unfold symmetric editing with sewing. Front done, and now we need to do the back. And for this exercise, the back will be an exact duplicate of the front, but with a higher waistline. Select the front pattern piece with the transform pattern tool. Right mouse click and choose copy. Then right mouse click again and choose mirror paste and then place what will be the back pattern next to the front. Next, arrange the patterns on the avatar. Turn the arrangement points on and move the pattern pieces off to the side of the avatar. Select the pattern in the 2D window and then move the cursor over the blue dots on the avatar. Find a dot that is closest to the correct placement of the front and back skirt pieces. When it's placed as you want it, click so the pattern will stay in place on the avatar. Next, add the sew lines and to do this, I'll use the free sewing tool. Click and drag on the side seam on the front and the back. And since the back is a mirrored copy of the front, 
and the front is symmetrically unfolded with sewing, you'll only need to add sewing to one side seam and it will duplicate the sewing on the other side seam. Now, simulate to see the garment on the avatar. Now that I can see the skirt, I can decide how much to bring up the back waistband and then re-simulate to see the updates on the avatar. Now, of course, there's a lot more you can do to this. This is a very basic skirt. And most of you will need a skirt with darts, a slit so the person can actually walk, ease, a zipper. But this tutorial is an introduction to some of the basic pattern tools and to see how easy it can be to create a garment on an avatar if you're just trying to visualize what your design will look like. It's like digital draping. Thanks for watching today's video. Keep your eye out for our introduction to Clo course as well as private tutoring. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.